on our adventure today, we're going to go to find some food on the beach. And this is what I'm taking with me. This bag and a pot of salt. Let's go find it. What I'm looking for is clams, mussels, that kind of stuff. Fresh shell shellfish. But the one that is elusive and an absolute delicacy is the razor clam. And I met a local a few days ago in one of the pubs in Falmouth. And I was trying to get out of him. Where can I get razor clams? And the locals, it's a well-kept secret. They will not tell you where you can get the razor clams for obvious reasons. They don't want the shellfish stocks to be depleted. Anyway, I've never caught, I've never foraged or tried to harvest razor clams before. So this is a first for me. And I'm armed with a plastic bag and a pot of regular salt. And we'll see how this goes. It's just beautiful down here. And again, as with basically, well, almost every day in Cornwall, the weather's been spectacular. 18 degrees and sunny. You know, if I can find even one razor clam, I'm going to be so happy. I can see people down on the beach now digging away for razor clams. So, obviously, other people know about it and looks like there's some there so let's go and find out so this is the beach where i might find some razor clams look at the stairs i had to come down those are super sketchy down the side of this cliff face anyway let's get out there see what we can find so now I'm just scouring the ground, looking for telltale signs where a clam might be. And there's something below the surface here, you can see the water. I just poured some salt on there. Hopefully it's gonna come up to the surface. Something happening. Here he comes. See him come in? That's a razor clam. There is my first razor clam. Yay! Okay, here's one. See that slot? Let's see if I can get one to come up. Fill that with salt. We'll just wait. See if there's one down there. Well, I would say that was a successful day. I got eight or so razor clams and a variety of other fresh shellfish. So, I'm gonna head home and cook her up. It was so warm out there. All that salt water, I can taste it ugh, on my lips. I am going to find a pub because I need a cold beer ASAP. So let's put it into uh, Google Maps and see where she's gonna take us. Okay, this was worth waiting for. <laughs> Beautiful, eh? So what I'm going to do is put all the seafood in here, especially the clams and the mussels, to let them uh, breathe and de-sand themselves for like an hour. If I put them in the water, they'll spit out all the sand and they're a lot cleaner and a lot nicer to eat. But let's see what we managed to forage. We've got lots of... Uh, Clams, cockles, so these are beauties. This is one of the razor clams. Excellent. Here's a spiny, look at the spines on that. That's a cockle. Here's another razor clam. I have actually had razor clams in Portugal when we were there, but tiny, like a fraction of the size of these. 
And you've never forged for them before, that's And I've never sure. got my own, so here's the clams again. Or cockle. I'm not sure that's a clam or a cockle. Here's another razor clam, that's a big one. Here's a mussel. Off the rocks down there. Uh -huh. A little tongue coming out of there. Yeah, he's coming out. Here's another big uh, cockle. Sorry if you guys watching know cockles, clams. I'm not sure if that's a clam or a cockle. It could be another variety of cockle. Look at that one. I know, that's awesome. Look at it that's crazy. I didn't know bad with the razor clams actually. No, you didn't. For the first time. And we're almost done. We have the last thing, one more really good size razor clam. So there we are. And I'm going to let them soak in there, spit out all the sand for about an hour, and then we'll prep them, we'll clean the shells. So I've just done some research online, and the big ones, the guys that have got their orange tongues stuck out right now, or the orange foot is what it actually is, uh, they are king cockles. King. The other ones are not clams, they are regular cockles. Need a couple of ingredients for my seafood boil, so I'm gonna take a walk down the main street, see if I can find them. I need some stock, a base stock for the boil. That's all the cockles washed and the mussels and prepared, the clams all chopped up, ready to go, and we're gonna boil them up, get them cooked. Looks like they're all cooked. The cockles are beautiful. And there she is. My seafood boil. White wine, onion, garlic. Ready to dig in with some fresh crusty bread. How's that? What a meal.